Star Wars The Old Republic public test server update 311, which is already live, and I'm wondering how the hell am I supposed to free up another 20 gigabytes on my small SSD so I can install the PTS and I can try it myself. Let's see. Jedi Knight Sentinel. I'm playing the Sentinel right now, so it's only suitable to read for the Sentinel changes. We can compare it with the stats live in game. Just Pursuit has been redesigned. Leg Slash immobilizes the target for 3 seconds. This immobilizing effect cannot be applied to the same target more than once every 10 seconds. Quickly going over the heroic abilities. Just Pursuit. Leg Slash consumes 2 less focus. Fine. In addition, using Leg Slash against a target already slowed by your Leg Slash, that's the second Slash, immobilizes the target for 3 seconds. This immobilizing effect cannot be applied to the same target more than once every 10 seconds. Fine. Remove the Stagger Skillful Utility. Uh, let's see if I can remember. This one, I've been bitching about this damn ability. Why the hell is this available? I was hoping they would delete this skill with the revamp and uh, the introduction of discipline. Nobody has ever used Stagger for whatever reason. Ever. I mean, really, zero. If you're using Stagger, Stagger, please don't. It's useless now. It has been always useless. Uh, let's read, uh, read the description just in case. Increases the duration of four sleeves immobilize effect by one second. Thank you. Next point. New skillful utility. To replace, obviously, Stagger. Raining Reach. Raining Reach increases the range of Flex Slash to 10 meters and reduces its focused cost by 2. So, we get the same bonus from, oops, not that one, from just first sweet. We get the less focus, the 2 points less focus, but we get that perk in this place here, which is the first tier, so it's possible at lower levels, and this will be a huge impact in lobby PvP. Being able to do Leg Slash, Leg Slash is this ability, in case you didn't know, so in the future, it will require one focus, which is very cheap, and it will be able to be used in 10 meter range, which is a huge improvement for a melee class, which is suffering a lot from being not mobile enough and not being able to chase runners and kiters. I approve of that one. Unfortunately, it's an awesome change, but only for PvP. Nobody with a PvE uh, purpose will ever think about using it. If they do, they should be blamed and shamed. Remove the health penalty for it, for guarded by the force. I know the description, I've read the changes. Another awesome PvP change. Yet again, totally useless for PvE. Not totally, okay. It could be useless like 1% of the fights where you can save a boss kill or something. The base cooldown of guarded by the force has been increased by 60 seconds, which should make it 3 minutes. Uh, quick check. Oh crap, I don't have it. Well, I can tell you, it's two minutes right now, without any perks and uh, buffs and so on. It will make it to be three minutes. Small changes, they are the same for the Marauder, with the different names, of course. Crippling Slash immobilizes the target for three seconds. Crippling Slash is Leg Slash, just uh, the CC ability for the Sentinel. The new Skillful utility in Tier 1, Skillful is Tier 1, is called Miming Reach. Again, Reach, just this time it's called Miming. Um, Undying Rage is the same ability as Guarded by the Force, makes you immune for a very short period of time. General purpose, absolutely not a single fix for PvE. I would have loved to see the return of the cooldown for Cauterize or Rupture. These are the same skills. I would have loved to see the cooldown returned so they don't they cannot be applied all the time. It's useful in some specific AoE scenarios. For example, I made a good use of it for my um, Sword Squadron unit hard mode kill a few days ago. But that's pretty much it. And uh, the Leg Slash is awesome for PvP, as I said. Nothing good for PvE. Combat is desperate for another new ability. We need it. Give it to us. It's time. There is absolutely nothing changed for combat. And this is the worst spec for the Jedi Sentinel at the moment. You've already mentioned here somewhere in the chat that it is expected the precision or gore will be buffed back up to whatever it is. Even 3.5 seconds will be very good. It's not going to be another full global cooldown. We know that the global cooldown in the game is 1.5 seconds or 1.455 for the Sentinel combat because of the buff on Ataro. 
But three point uh, three seconds uh, duration for precision and gore is just ridiculously slow combined with the huge server latency that most players are suffering from. Me, not so much. On the dummy, I have absolutely no trouble uh, making all the combinations. But sometimes in real boss fight, when I when when my frame rate drops anywhere between 40 and 20, or even bigger g gaps than those 20. Uh, it gets annoying and hard to mix up and use the proper combinations and uh, skill priorities for combat specifically. That's why I've been using Watchman for both of my latest uh, two kills in hard mode, just because Watchman does not suffer so much from ability delay. And that was the short monologue. I managed, I, I hope I managed to do proper job, say useful things, and I hope that it could be useful and helpful to some of you at least. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, you can find me also on Twitch, Twitter and Facebook. For my non-Star Wars activities, I invite you to subscribe to my second YouTube channel.